The Tesla Robo Taxi, it's been spotted in America already. This is not what I thought it would look like. In fact, this thing is damn ugly. I mean, it's ugly with a capital U. It's terrible, but this is actually camouflage. So the Tesla, this is literally Tesla's Robo Taxi. And we've got some evidence for why it is Tesla, Tesla's Robo Taxi. It's been camouflaged to look like an ugly dog, but actually I think it, it might look pretty good when Tesla reveal the the real thing and remove all the weird bodywork and potentially paint it a different color for some bizarre reason. Uh, it's painted in bright yellow. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us now, guys, today. Very interesting today. It actually rained half the day here and heavy rain here in, in Newcastle. And I was curious to see how much, how well my solar system would work in heavy rain, you know, getting newer solar panels, newer systems, they're more efficient. And I thought, I wonder if it'll be much better than my previous solar system. It's miles better. In the, Even when it was heavy rain, I had more than enough electricity to run the house. So uh, mind blown, but that's true. And, and this is not, I'm not just looking at my, my app and going, oh, that's for 10 seconds. I'm talking for literally for hours. So anyway, if you wanna get a new solar system here in Australia, use the company I use. They use the best quality products and um, I think they have the best service. Based on my experience, I'll put a link in the description. So moving on here, guys, what is going on with the Tesla Robotaxi? Well, this is a Robotaxi. Robo it's been camouflaged. We know it's a Tesla Cybercab prototype. When is the actual, when are we going to see these? Apparently October. Uh, I think October the 8th is the date for the new reveal. Of course, it was postponed from the 8th of August. So who knows? Anyway, reports say that Tesla will unveil the anticipated Robotaxi Cybercab at the Warner Brothers studio in Burbank, California. And this is it. I mean, this is not it because, you know, you can't really see what it really looks like. It's been camouflaged. But this does give you a good idea of the actual size, the dimensions. This is the size. This is basically the vehicle it's just been camouflaged. So yeah, it's small. As you can see, it's a two door. So now we know for certain this is a two door vehicle and it's well, kind of a really logical size. I think anyway, Tesla has been driving a fleet of test vehicles around the Warner Brothers studio. These are it basically. So there's pretty clear evidence. I've looked up numerous sources and it appears though this is the real thing. When I first saw this, I thought this is ridiculous. Surely this is not it, but it is. It's just been camouflaged. Anyhow, apparently Tesla has been testing this small vehicle. It's heavily disguised. And as you can see, it actually looks very similar to the RoboTaxi concept image. You can see that Walter Isaacson shared in Elon Musk's biography. In fact, I think it's going to be basically that vehicle that you can see from his biography. Very, very interesting here. You can see that the Robotaxi mock-up that Tesla shared, it's pretty much that car. It's very, very, very similar to that car. And it's, well, I think very, very logical. As you can see, boot space, space for two passengers, no steering wheel, and um, yeah, not much else. But it is kind of a good looking vehicle. That said, it does look a little bit like a matchbox car. I mean, it does look like a, a kind of a toy car. But honestly, who cares as long as it can deliver you to your destination at one tenth of the cost of a normal ride share, like a normal taxi, you know, um, Uber, for example. When I say one tenth of the cost, most experts estimate that when we have fully functional robo taxis, they're driving around everywhere, there's lots of them, you know, potentially millions of these driving around, the cost will be one tenth, one tenth the price of actually owning a car. So that's why people say it'll be so cheap, it'll cost you a couple of dollars to get somewhere, you know, a fairly good distance. Electricity will be very, very cheap because, you know, we're moving towards net zero and we're, mov we're moving towards having a predominantly, well, dom a grid dominated by renewable energy. And when we do that, we have to build up more than we need because of course the sun doesn't always shine. That means that electricity experts say will be, be much cheaper. So electric car batteries will be cheaper, electricity will be cheaper, manufacturing will be cheaper thanks to using robots instead of human beings. Not that that's a good thing necessarily, but that's what's gonna happen. And therefore the cost of transportation in one of these vehicles will be incredibly, inc incredibly, incredibly cheap. Of course, the reason, the key reason for the cost decline is actually not those things, it's the fact there's no driver. I mean, when you, hire, you get an Uber, you're really paying for that driver's wage and he's gotta make some money, right? But when there's no driver to pay, the cost is just 
slashed immensely. The efficiency of a car like this as well, it's gonna be really, really efficient. I'm, I'm assuming it'll use lithium ion phosphate battery cells, probably the Shenzhen Plus battery from CATL. That has a very, very high energy density. Those batteries last a long time. CATL are saying minimum 1 million kilometers from those batteries. So if Tesla use a battery pack like that in a car like this, and potentially if they, they actually charge these cars using their mega pack batteries charged by solar, which some of their actual supercharger stations actually have mega pack batteries underneath the supercharger station in basically put into the ground so they can remove electricity from the grid or from their own solar panels on top of the supercharger stations and do that when they basically remove that electricity from the grid when it's really really cheap in the middle of the night and then they'll sell it back oh basically not what well, they sell it back to you when it's expensive but they'll charge their robo taxi fleet when electricity is the least expensive so when it's the cheapest and tesla's software is very very good at that now, in recent months musk has stopped referring to tesla as being an electric vehicle manufacturer he's instead steered the conversation toward artificial intelligence robotics and he's hinted that Tesla is focusing more on robotics and artificial intelligence and on things like their robot and automation than they are on actually producing electric cars. That makes sense, right? It really makes a lot of sense. As a result, the Cybercab will be a huge, huge deal for Tesla. This is so important. Can Tesla pull this off? I mean, do you guys, what do you think? Do you think Tesla will actually be able to um, reveal a fully functional robotaxi in October? I don't think they're quite there yet. I mean, I think they could, but I think there still needs to be some driver intervention. Tesla not, haven't quite nailed the whole full self-driving thing. They're pretty close though. I think there's, you know, very, very close. How close? Don't know exactly. Now, Tesla obviously wants to make sure that this is going to work. And I think that's why they, they delayed it from August to October, gave their team an extra two months to get this vehicle out. Now, here's what um, Green, who's the hacker who discovered this, said on, or on X, so I guess recent Bloomberg news piece explains why Tesla started extensive data collection in the Warner Brothers studio area four or so days ago. This in addition to other areas like Tesla Diner, various San Francisco and Bay Area pieces and so on. Basically, he's saying Tesla has been doing massive data collection in areas where they plan on driving the robo taxi at the reveal. So Tesla will do a drive with the robo taxi with no one in it. I'm assuming around the Warner Brothers studio area, around those local streets near the Tesla diner, various San Francisco and Bay Area locations to say, look, it works. Of course, so they're focusing on data in that area to make sure it does work. Kind of kind of adds up, right? Anyhow, I think this vehicle is actually really, really good. I think this is really good for society. Having Uber taxis, electric and very, very cheap, affordable, it's gonna change transportation. A lot more people, instead of buying a car, which they don't necessarily need um, and having production kind of wasted really it is wasted if you don't really need it getting an uber or getting a, a, an affordable robo taxi which is powered by renewable energy to me that's the future and i'm really i'm really personally looking forward to it i'm very excited for what i think is going to be a massively positive thing will it work this year maybe not will it work next year probably the next year the year after that potentially as well no matter what the case is even if you're a naysayer this will happen eventually. And I think within the next couple of years. Thanks for watching.